The war on sex is a comprehensive attack on sexual education, entertainment, expression, health care, and officials at each level of government, unfortunately, have a lot of discretion about how to pursue this war. America's war on sex is a comprehensive, well-coordinated attack by a large number of groups, actually, local, state, and federal government, as well as morality groups, decency groups, right-wing media, right-wing think tanks like the American Center for Law and Justice. It's not enough for some people to say, I don't want to go to a nude beach. They say, I don't want to go to a nude beach, and you shouldn't have the right to go to a nude beach either. I don't want to get an abortion, and you shouldn't have the right to get an abortion either. I uh, don't want to have group sex in a commercial venue, and you shouldn't have the opportunity to do that if you want to. So the war on sex is, in one sense, a war to take away the rights that people actually have to do things, to say things, to feel things that some people don't think they should have the right to do. Uh, for example, in California, the Town & Country Hotel in San Diego was going to host a swingers convention, 3,000 swingers, taking over the Town & Country Hotel. Nobody complained. The Alcohol Beverage Control Commission of the state of California came in and said to the Town & Country Hotel, if you host the swingers convention, we're going to take away your license. The Town & Country Hotel in San Diego said, hey, we're not serving any alcohol at these events. The ABC said, we don't care. You have a license. That makes it our business. We don't think that you, as a licensee, should be hosting an event where people are going to be having group sex. So take your pick. Do you want your license or do you want their business? Well, certainly, America has a love-hate relationship with sexuality, or, if you will, a schizophrenic relationship with sexuality. There's no question that what Americans are doing in their bedrooms is becoming more and more radical. Uh, the, um, the sexual repertoires of Americans at home, privately, without question, is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. On the other hand, the government has acquired more and more tools to regulate sexual expression over the last 30 years. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that people who are afraid of sexuality, they are vigorously uh, pursuing whatever means they can to regulate other people's sexuality. I'm afraid that the war on sex is getting more intense and more comprehensive. Uh, in the area of uh, adult entertainment, for example, the federal government has handed down a series of indictments. It's unbelievable that in the United States, there's actually pictures and words that you can't sell because the government decides that it's obscene. The whole concept of obscenity is obscene. The, the right to see South Park may actually depend on the right to watch Butt Busters 3. So um, all of this sexually oriented stuff is connected. The regulation of sexuality is the gateway into undermining secular democracy. The regulation of sexuality is the gateway into using morality as the criterion for governance rather than secular pluralism.